Hey, what is going on guys and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys a very easy and very efficient Enderman Ender Pearl XP farm from Minecraft Bedrock Edition in May of 2022, Minecraft Bedrock Edition version 1.18, that this Enderman XP farm is going to be very efficient for you to gain a lot of XP and it's super easy and simple. So if you guys do enjoy this video, make sure to make that like button bluer than California and hit that red subscribe button. And guys, all the materials that you will be needing will be linked in the description down below for an XP farm tutorial article. Just scroll through that, find the materials you need, and continue back onto the video because this does get tricky. And alright guys, so what you're going to want to do when you first get on is you're going to want to go to a warped forest biome, the blue biome on Minecraft in the nether. And this is because a lot of endermen do spawn here. And then what you're going to do is mine like a 3x3 box and then just mine down 33 blocks. And that's about it. You can also, like if you hit bedrock, build up a little bit. Just make sure you're still in the warped biome. And I would go somewhere in the middle of it. Don't go to, like to the edge of it. Make sure you're in the middle of it. Like as you can see mine, I literally just built down because there's a bunch of lava which that does work too because it's still in a warped biome and then basically guys once you get down here so once you make sure it's all flat and there's no case and you cover it up choose a side and just mine two out again since mine um is kind of like out in the open i'm just gonna have to build it myself which is all good so guys this is the little two by two area you're gonna be chilling at and what you're gonna do is go to this side right over here and you see the area you're gonna be chilling at you're gonna want to mine two down now Okay, we don't need that we're just gonna want to mine three down and we're gonna want to place a redstone torch and then cover it up and then place a redstone rail so it's activated and then what you're gonna want to do after that is get your normal rails and just go out like this and one out so it should kind of look something like this and lead to your two by two like afk area and you can extend this a little bit more if you need the extra room. So guys, I decided to extend mine one out just because I like it more like that. You don't have to, but if you like a little bit more room, you could do that. What you're going to want to do after that is mine two out like this next to the redstone rails or next to the rails. And you're going to want to place your two chests. You're going to want to place two chests right there to kind of make it a large chest. And then obviously you're going to want to just place a hopper connecting to the chest. And then you can cover this up right here. And guys, right here, you're going to want to do the same thing you did for that powered rail. So we're going to want to mine down three. And what we're going to want to do is place a torch there, cover the torch up, and then place another powered rail. And legit just connect them like that. So then we can keep a mine cart with a hopper kind of moving around to collect all the ender pearls and XP that we get. Well, you'll grab the XP, but it's going to get all the ender pearls. So once you place our mine cart with hopper right there, as you're going to see, it's going to keep on moving and moving and it's basically going to keep going around so that's perfect then with the slabs you're just going to cover up the top because again we don't want them to um fall all the way down remember leave a little bit of room like that's perfect you're going to kind of want the hopper to be sticking out a little bit if it's blocking through the slab it shouldn't but there you go that's what you're going to want to do and then what you're going to want to do is place some torches light up the area you're going to go afk with so once you get your ladders you're going to want to go all the way up and this is why i like bedrock you can literally just spam click it all and it will go right away and boom there you go and you're going to want to cover this up with a trap door so guys now once you got all that done you're going to want to replace this border with a block enderman can't pick up so let's just do some cobblestone just to be safe we're going to want to change it a little bit make sure that they won't pick it up because what we're going to do next is like a really important part so you cannot skip this so basically guys trap doors are identified as blocks even when they're open but you can fall through them when they're open so what you're going to want to do is place three trap doors on each side so the endermen think it's a block and they will walk on it and then you're just going to want to open it like that. And then do the same thing for these sides. You can only fit one in on these sides, but it's all good. Let's make sure we place it right, you know. And there we go, guys. We finished the hoppers. Now this is the hardest part. So make sure to watch carefully because I messed up on this one a lot. So you guys got to pay attention. So what you're going to want to do is place a block in the middle. I just crouch clicked on the trap door and go three up. So one, two, three. And then you're going to want to make it a two by one. And then on the sides, you're going to want to fill it up with three. So make sure it's like really protected because the, the, like I said earlier, this is a really hard part. And let's go up another one just to be safe. And even over here, we got to go a little bit out. And there you go. And now what you're going to try to do in here is spawn an endermite. Now to spawn one, you're going to want to use an ender pearl and just keep on going. Make sure you're not on peaceful. In fact, just set it to hard or something just to, you know, make it 
easier for you just make sure to watch your health because you do lose hearts from ender pearls you know use feather falling form make sure you're all good and just keep on you know trying to spawn one in just try to spawn one in but guys before you do that make sure to get an anvil and make a name tag ready to name it because again you're gonna want to name it so it doesn't despawn so let's name it like and subscribe because you guys should all like and subscribe so there we go we did that and i'm just gonna spawn on in with a egg because it's i'm in creative mode and i don't really have that much time to keep on throwing an ender pearl uh so we're gonna spawn one in and we're just gonna name it so it won't despawn and now the best part is the easiest part to do get your minecart ready in your rails and place two rails a minecart oh he's in the middle of them i can't place okay you gotta push him a little bit don't hit him just push him come on come on buddy let's go buddy come on come on and there you go and then you're gonna want to get him in the minecart and lock him up right there and then after that place a block above him and he's basically all set he's all ready you're gonna want to definitely break that rail break that and you can destroy all the blocks around him maybe even leave some like here so he doesn't get pushed out from like a magma block or you know something like that just make sure he's all secure in his own little cage we don't want this guy getting out because this guy is crucial but once you name him he shouldn't despawn or anything like that don't break the block he's on and there you go and now what this is going to do is this is going to attract endermen endermen are going to try to come grab him and they're obviously going to not know and they're going to walk and fall so make sure he's high enough for the endermen not to like hit their head and get stuck on you know what i'm saying guys so make sure it is high enough so you're going to want to make sure he's visible don't block him off make sure he is visible so like that would be perfect and maybe a block above him and basically this is how it's gonna work see endermen are all falling down you could raise it up one more block i did kind of mess up on that but endermen are falling down and they're gonna fall down all the way down here and they're gonna fall all the way down there and that's when you're gonna go all the way down here yourself and you're gonna be killing them collecting all of their ender pearls and all the xp yourself so you're gonna have to be down here i recommend getting looting three and mending or just looting three and you can be down here chopping them all up make sure they don't teleport away 